for the age from 11. I played for the youth, the West Ham school boys team. Um, and then when I went on to the secondary school, at the age of 12, they have a football team for each year. So, so you play for the year that you're in, from 12, 13, 14, 15 or 16. So but it was only that period between the 11 year old West Ham schoolboys from, then, from that day on going into your secondary school and so basically I don't think I was good enough to actually go on to, the, to further it. I wouldn't say more passionate. I think we're both very passionate supporters of the club. Um, but I, I imagine I've been, because I'm older than Steve, uh, my father took me to West Ham in the North Bank, uh, I think when I was about three or four years of age. And it was when you had standing uh, in the terraces, there was no seating, it was just standing. And you had this sort of like metal bar that went across the, the, the grown-ups would, would lean on to watch the game, like a crash barrier thing. But my dad used to sit me on there and, and then I would sit there at three or four years of age. So I imagine the long term, I think I was, I must have watched my first West Ham game before Steve was born. So I take, I take it that I've been following them longer, you know. He is, yeah, he's really good. He's stronger as well, he's fitter. I'm not as fit. You know, years ago we probably were, we were equal, but now no. But um, no, he, he loves his football, Steve. He still plays, you know, uh, when he can, you know, trains a bit, you know. This was before Maiden, and um, we were doing tours with status quo because we were signed to Quarry, which was the same, Quarry Management was the same manager as Quo. And so we were on tour with Quo quite a lot, but I imagine, I remember coming back um, and West Ham won the cup and um, I couldn't get to Wembley and we had a transit van, a big transit van, and all the equipment was in the back of the van. And when West Ham won the cup, I drove it up to Upton Park and I parked it right in the middle of the, the road, in the crossroads, where the bowling pub is, by the ground. And we all got up on the roof of the van, and we were all celebrating on the roof. But what I didn't realise was the weight of all of us standing on the roof of the van pushed the roof in. So when we got to the gig on the night time, we, we couldn't get the equipment out, because the roof was there, so nothing would move. We had to get, get inside and sort of push the roof back up, sort of thing, you know. So yeah, it was, that was, it was all crazy things years ago, you know. No, no. Um, as Sam Allardyce said, don't, don't get too carried away. We've only had a few wins. When you're a West Ham fan, you have to have lots of patience and, and a, a, a strong heart because you end up having a heart attack because that's what happens with West Ham. Steve, Steve Harris said to me, he texted me a little while ago and he said, I think it was when we were down the bottom and he said, because my children support West Ham, Steve's children support West Ham, and he texted me and he said, do you realise we have put our children through a lifetime of misery <laughs> because we have made on West Ham fans and they're going to suffer like we've suffered. Yes. Chelsea. Chelsea. I don't think you can, I don't think they're going to get caught. While you've got Man City, Man United are just not performing, but while you've got Liverpool a Man City losing silly games, like you would never have thought West Ham would beat Man City, the amount of money they've got and the, the size of the team. But they played in Europe and they're probably a bit tired, I don't really care, but we won. But I can't see Chelsea being caught this year. I, I love them both, but... Oh. Uh, I do, I do love Ronaldo. I think he's such a flair player. 
he's such a great player, fast. Um, but then again, Messi can change a game straight on his own. I think if you've got the money and you could get the players playing together, look Mourinho has, then I think, yes. It just goes to show that the guy at Man United hasn't done it and the guy at Man City at the moment hasn't done it. So slowly they've got to start working together as a team. But I think Mourinho at the moment is, is a bit above him. Hello. I used to love watching George Best, you know, especially when he'd been out all night in a club, drinking until <laughs> six o'clock in the morning and still go to a crowd and score four goals. No, don't know any of them. Oh, I, I, I love Greece. I've been to Greece about ten times. Um, my, uh, my, my ex-wife's mother and father moved to Perithia in Corfu. And so my children, at uh, a very, very early young age, uh, went to, to Corfu every uh, summer holidays for the whole six weeks holiday. They would go and see their grandparents. Mm -hmm. And I visited quite a lot and I've been to, I've been to quite a few Greek islands out for holidays. And um, one, a lot of the time I've, I've, I've been to um, Palacostrictor or I've been to Rhodes or I've been to Crete or I've been somewhere else. Mm -hmm. and I watch the Greek teams because it's you go to the bar and they're, they're on it and it's always been for me really entertaining football but I wouldn't I can't even tell you the players that play for the England team at the moment because there's so many swapping about I wouldn't even know so as far as the Greek players go no I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Sutherland, thank you very much for that. No thank you very much thank you thank you.